When running a migration project, it's always a good idea to make sure that you have as much information as possible about the source environments. In Fly, once you've got your connections created, you can run a pre-migration report that analyzes the source environments and provides you with information. To do that, on the left, we click on pre-migration report. And then over here towards the far right, what scope do you want to analyze? So I'm going to click on that. A scope is something that can be targeted for analysis by the reports. Scopes can have multiple connections listed in them. So I'm going to click Create here under SharePoint. And you can see we've got the two connections we've previously set up. So I'm going to pick this one. And then we'll check it off. We can give the scope a name. And then down at the bottom, we click on Save and Analyze Now, or simply Save, and we can run the analysis separately. Again, though, I could potentially, if I had multiple scopes within that particular connection, I could select them off. We'll click on Save and Analyze Now. We can see that the job has kicked off. You can see the progress of that job by going to Migration Status. So we can see now that that is running. Here is our status. And as long as that is turning, the analysis is going on. So we can see now that status is complete and we can go take a look. So if I click on pre-migration report over on the left, we get site collections, how many sites, how many lists and libraries, items and documents, users, total size, are there any my sites, are there any workflows? And this information right now is very thin because again, I'm using a test environment, but real world, you'll get a lot more information out of this. You even now have the ability to export a detailed report. So if I click on that, we can open it up and view the Excel file that gets created. And this is where you can really start to find a lot of potentially important information by going through the tabs down at the bottom. Again, it depends on how many scopes you had in the actual scan itself, but you can see information about the site collection, information about the particular site, including templates that were being used, features, any information on workflows, user information, groups, security groups, anything coming up unsupported, anything about web parts. These are all things that could potentially trip you up when you're actually going through the migration project itself. Not uncommon to try to migrate a site from SharePoint on-premises up into SharePoint Online that had a custom web part in it that is not supported. You want to be able to know that that type of thing is possible and reviewing this type of information is going to be one of those things that can give you that extra leg up. So you have to have your connections created. You can add those sources into the pre-migration report, view some top level information, and then from there you can export the report to really dig down deeper. That is how to configure and run your pre-migration report in Avpoint Elements Fly.